Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am painting another scene of Ireland with oil paint. This painting is of the Torque Waterfall in Killarney, which I visited last winter while hiking in the Killarney National Park. There were so many incredible views along the Kerry Way, I think I could have spent months painting things and still not run out of things to create. For this piece, I used Permalba oil paints on a pre-stretched canvas. I decided to do this painting in oil because it had been quite a while since I had done a larger scale oil piece, um, but wow did I forget how long oil paintings took. I worked on this painting sporadically over several weeks, you'll even see my background change at some point because I moved like halfway through this piece, but I was determined to finish it. I am still trying to figure out my camera angles and lighting, so hopefully that is not too distracting in this video. Oil paint is great because the slow dry time and layering can allow you to make much more intricate pieces than gouache or watercolor. But at the same time, it can be a pain because it takes a very, very long time to reach a finite level of detail. I began by toning my canvas and doing a quick underpainting with a super light layer of burnt umber. Once it had dried, I started blocking in my colors with the basic range of dark and light tones before adding color. I know most people love detailing, but honestly, color blocking has always been my favorite part of a painting because there's not really any pressure to make anything perfect, and it's sort of the first steps into making the painting actually look like something. I'm sure some of you have heard of the phrase fat over lean, which basically means I worked in really thin layers of paint which lots of liquid glaze and linseed oil mixed in to speed up the drying time before I overlaid with thicker paint. Since oil paint dries really slow and is just generally less forgiving than acrylic or gouache when it comes to layering, it's super important to control the amount of paint you're using so the colors don't slide and mix together. I think I unanticipated how detailed forest scenes can be. Um, the rocks and leaves and water all had completely different textures and color tones, so each component took quite a while to do. This was the first larger scale waterfall painting I've ever done, so it was really fun to get to experiment with how the water interacted with the rocks and trees. I spent a lot of time on the rocks in the foreground trying to get the full color range of grays and greens. Like the waterfall, these rocks were super deceptively tricky to paint because there's so many small little details you don't realize until you actually start working on them. Working on the waterfall itself was pretty challenging. The water is the only part of the painting that is pure white, so I had to go over this portion of the painting several times to build up the white color. I also did my water details with a small liner brush and pure white with a tiny amount of medium mixed in. I did the same process with the leaves and gradually used less and less medium as I got to the smaller details because the thicker paint showed up better. I spent a lot of time working on the background trees because I started them way too detailed way too early on in the process and it was getting really overwhelming to look at. One thing that I've always loved about landscape oil painters, especially the old romantic classics, is their ability to distinguish from the background and foreground by softening certain elements and emphasizing others. I was originally working with a really small liner brush, but I ended up switching to a larger flat brush to soften up the tree shapes in a more gestural way, and then going back in and adding some leaves and branches. I was able to focus more of my attention on the rocks and water in the foreground once the background setting had blurred away. I also thought this painting was missing something, so I started to add in some kids playing on the rocks. I kept tweaking with this for quite a while, but something about the scale just seemed off and it wasn't working for me, so I ended up scrapping that idea later on. I think that's one of the really great things about these long paintings. You revisit them so many times that you notice things that don't look right and you have the chance to scrap it and start over. 
Paint is super forgiving, so if you don't like something, just paint over it and change it. Um, while I was working on this painting, I definitely got pretty discouraged at times, thinking I would never finish it or I wasn't happy with how it was looking, but I gave myself time to step away and take a break from it for days and weeks at a time, which is so important when you're making something. I think it's good to know when to walk away from a piece for some time before revisiting things. Oil painting is a whole different experience than gouache or acrylic or watercolor, so I had to get comfortable with struggling and messing up a lot before I came to something that I was happy with. I ended up circulating throughout this painting a lot and revisiting areas I wanted to change. I think it's easier to work in a circle than focusing all of your attention on one area of the painting at a time. The painting stays more balanced this way and you don't have to constantly remix colors or try to match the level of detail everywhere. I think that's one of the biggest advantages to oil drying so slow. The colors in your palette last a really, really long time, so you're not constantly needing to make new color swatches every time you come back to your painting. I think I learned a lot while making this piece. Larger paintings are more time consuming, but they can be really relaxing and fun to do. I had a lot of fun working with oil and I really hope to do more oil pieces like this in the future. Also, I just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing and supporting my videos. I really, really do appreciate you all. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video really soon.